Hey, it's Joe Glines from The Automator, and in this video, you're going to watch a tutorial where Maestrieth was walking through how to use an ActiveX GUI for updating uh, a GUI instead of the way Hellbent originally was doing it. He was drawing things and updating them, and, and on his computer with like a thousand things, it was really slowing down, and so Maestrieth, you know, this is all done... Um, by the way, this is done five years ago to start off, like somewhere in 2017, and it was done, um, you know, on the on the fly. So Maestrieth had no planning on this. We just kind of joined. I think it was on a Hangout. So the quality. So let me apologize first off. The quality of the audio was terrible. I think Maestrieth, if I remember right, had his fan on because it was the middle of summer and it was really hot and it was blowing on the mic. But in it, you'll see it's pretty amazing at the speed performance increases that he got it to do by using an ActiveX GUI instead of drawing all the GUIs manually, with, which is what Hellbent had done. Um, so it was a really good, and he's teaching and he's talking and explaining the stuff along the way. Um, again, apologize for the audio quality and even the, the video quality because this is from a long time ago. It was really fortunate someone had asked a question about using ActiveX, and I did some searching and realized I'd never shared this video. Now, it's, it's around 45 minutes long, and I don't remember why, but it suddenly just ends. I don't I don't know why we stopped it, and then I didn't start, you know, I don't have the second part to wherever it was, but we have the code. So, uh, in this URL above me here, you'll get the initial one that he demos just showing how to, you know, create an ActiveX GUI and, and update it and just move things around. But then Hellbent said, well, how would I adapt that to my code? And he walks through, and I have both examples of Hellbent's code and Maestrieth's code implemented, you know, in place of Hellbent. So it's a long video, but if this is something of your interest to you, I thought it was, I might as well release it because, you know what, it's better than nothing, and I think a lot of people can learn from this. I know I did, and I rewatched it going, wow, this is this is really cool. So hope you enjoy it. Please, even though the, the audio sucks, please, I would really appreciate if you'd like it for me, and uh, let's get more people to see how, how cool it is, even with ActiveX, that you can really do some amazing stuff. Cheers. Have a great day. Bye. The only the only reason I picked ten by ten is because I didn't want the uh, image to get squished when I shrunk it because I knew I was going to make it ten by ten on the screen, so I didn't want it to get distorted. Right. Unless that's that can't be. <laughs> no, really can't. Maybe you can't make a ten by ten in in this. There's 10 by 19. There's 10 by 10. There we go. Flood fill. There we go. I'll save as. Oh, let's go to this top by Yeah, so one of the things I was thinking tomorrow is I'll make a bunch of different squares, different colors, and I'll have them, I'll come up with like an image, like maybe Super Mario, because you know how that's all like little squares, and yeah. I'll just make, have it, I'll have the pigs or whatever, the blocks moving around, and suddenly I'll tell them to, to <laughs> form up, and they'll start transforming. <laughs> I have no idea how to do it yet, but I have some ideas. Desktop. No, oh, I want the full path. Okay. Desktop. If you click in the uh, in the the yeah. title thing, it I, doesn't it after you click yeah, in there. Unfortunately. Oh crap! All right, sorry. Yeah. Yep. Right click, go to properties and security. Yeah. Security. There it is. Yeah, just get it there. That should put a little pink in there. There we go. Alright. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and loop 10. We'll just have to just no, it should be yeah, okay. So it'll just keep adding them in line. So, can... so is that the HTML? Yeah, this is uh, Yeah, the active X is uh 
I yeah, this is uh, an HTML guy yeah. here. So if I do the message box, the body under HTML, then you'll see that I've got a hundred of these individual images within there. So now to give them some sort of and I'll just go ahead and do random here. So let's go ahead and do, 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 comma ing dot id colon equals a index. So now they've all got indexed by one, two, three, and so on and so forth. So let's go ahead and say loop at least 100. And then uh, let's go ahead and pop in here. Random x zero. What are we at eight hundred? Y zero five hundred. No. So let's go ahead and say uh, ng colon equals to be get ID a index. And go image dot left. Yes, there's an image dot style dot left. And we have t equal equals x image style top and equals y. And add a bit of this image. One. What are you What are you trying to do? Move them. Just move them. Uh, let's see here. So this is got image that top. Image that left. Yeah, that's giving us that. Let me see, let me see. Okay. Finish that. Let's do this. X, Y, left, off. Finish that. I thought it was image that style. No. That's not right either. If I have to pull the which uh, right pull equals x plus ten. to think. So I've done a lot of work with uh, Style, image dot style, two eighty two. Image 
Oh, is your... what about 276? Is, is that you have different items? Oh, yeah, that's multiple images within. Okay. Yeah, it's just looping over the... That's actually what I should have been doing, technically. Uh, all right, let's... Let's go back to this. Yeah. Is that what? Oh, I must have closed it. Did I? What the hell? Huh. Uh, I'll open to the decon slash HK squares. There we go. Okay. So let's just go. Images going equals images file one so we've got I guess I should have just done that whole bunch. Hey, does either of you know, um, is there a hotkey to copy the text under your mouse, like a line of text from sight? Like, is there a hotkey that does that? No, but I, I don't use sight. So I like, I know that. I can duplicate with Control D. You could, um, I, I don't think there's a built-in one, but you can, with Calm, yeah. connect to it and grab it. Yeah. So you yeah. could write one very easily to do it, I think. Yeah, yeah. I have never had that give me an error like that. Huh. I'm having trouble Here. connecting to the internet. Take a look at okay, the let's try in your Alexa app. Changing like width and height here. Oops. So I I the Yeah, wow. <laughs> so why is top and left not working properly unless I have to designate which would I guess make sense. But it was adding it in. It's not moving. Wait, wait, go back. Go run it again. Run it again. Yeah, it's just. Okay, it's just, I, thought I, saw, I thought I saw it move. No, just the initial positioning. Um, why on earth is this not working? Okay, hold on a second. Let me, let me think here. This is, uh, let's go ahead and just change this to a one shot. Okay. So, uh, image dot. I don't think that works. No. Left only equals two hundred. Oh, you know what? Um, So oh. trying to position it relative to your screen? I guess. I don't know what the hell. <laughs> Alright. So we gotta throw those guys all in absolute positions. <laughs> hey, look at that. Alright, now they're all over the place. Okay. So I knew I wasn't stupid. Just dumb. Okay. There we go. So yeah, things are gonna go off the screen a little bit. That's whatever. Alright, so let's give these guys 
something fun to do. Loop uh, 50. Get that away. And there we go. Woohoo! Look at him go. How? <laughs> I am. I am so thoroughly confused. How is it that they're looking like they're moving? It's not. They're teleporting. They're teleporting. Okay. Thank you. There's just Look so many. <laughs> It's pink snow. They're all over the place. I could throw like a small sleep in here so that you could actually see some things happening here. So let's throw like a hundred milliseconds. But they're running all over the screen and uh, updating quite fast. So let's go ahead and make a thousand of them. Yeah, that's slowing them down a little bit. And you know, I'm I'm still not actually understanding. I mean, I understand the uh, ActiveX thing is an an IE or, you know or whatever thing, but how is that tied to the GUI? And how is it how is it updating on the? Oh, hold on a second. Go. Right. Uh, Here, I'll, do you still have my email? I'll email you. I'll email oh, you. Oh, no, I got the chat. There you go. Oop. There you go. All right. So that's a thousand of them running around. And it should update pretty fast. Um, you, the only way I'd really be able to see the difference is, do you have my script? Uh, no, I don't. I mean, I have it here on the screen. Grab, grab that and put your PNG in it and see that, how that goes with a thousand in it. Well, I, I sent you the script that I just wrote, so... Yeah, oh yeah, 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 let me try that, let me try that. So Chad, can you can you help me understand the um the ActiveX thing? It's just rendering the 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 redrawing of the images at random places. Is that it right? puts the yeah? That's all it's really doing. Is it's you know it puts the ActiveX control in on line three here. Yep. Looping a thousand times and making a thousand images. Uh huh. Within the screen. And then showing the GUI here, on object there, and then it's looping 1,500 times to tell it to move 1,500 times to each one of those images to a random spot. That's all it's doing, basically. Oh, okay. Now I understand how you're referencing them, and then, yeah, they have that new random value, and that's their new location. Okay. Reset, uh... But the ActiveX, so that's where I'm getting the ActiveX, you don't have to redraw it, it will just... It'll redraw on its own. Okay. See, that's what I, I've never played with that. Not not like that. I've done it with HTML and displayed stuff, but not... Right. Not like that. Yeah, so let's go ahead and... And at the very top of the script, you'll have to change the working directory. Oh, I'll figure it out. Oh, God, I hate this. Um, I like it, but I hate it. Why do I like it? <laughs> you, like, you like what? Hate what? Well, Zoom itself, it's just, it's nice, but it, didn't, it screws with my shortcuts. Wow. Where's... Oh! Alright. So this is my image. Mm -hmm. 
And don't forget about the pig PNG object. Okay, right. Line 44. 44. Directory, the working directory. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, jeez. I'm a big dumb. So we gotta do that and that. Just, uh, uh, just coming it out. Oh, hey, yeah, you can't move the limit. Okay, wait till it lets go to restrop. So, yeah, there's a thousand of them. All right, now do one of the uh, the force ones. That's when shit goes. Yeah, your computer's a lot better than mine. <laughs> I should hope so. <laughs> Spend right. enough money on the damn thing. Yeah, I got an 8-core processor running at 4 gigahertz. It should be running really well. And then if you hit force move again, it'll let them go on their own. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, eventually they'll... Uh, to start moving around. But yeah, um, now when you do the moves, it's just basically as soon as the move is done, it uh, it starts over. What's yeah, it cycles. It cycles. It loops through. It loops through the different the different uh, objects that I have, or the different pigs. Right. And then once it's done, it starts over the process again. So there's no like sleeps or anything like that. No, no, it's it's on a timer. Oh, okay. So yeah, I would say, um, and if you think about it, the uh, the speed at which this happens, I could probably. I mean, I would see where the HTML object would. Uh, See another Definitely. thing. This is, this is just um, one of the tests that I'm doing with this is to test how easy if I can start adding in uh, as many objects as I want and be able to do the tracking and everything like that. This is like extreme, you know. It's supposed to be ex testing it to the extreme. I'm never going to actually create something where I'm using this many things that are moving around. Right. Yeah, I would say. Um I'm I'm gonna guess that the the fact that it's so many individual image objects that um, Auto Hotkey has to track and deal with is your bottleneck, not necessarily the uh, the object itself. Because these objects, I mean, if you take and where do the movements actually happen? There's a couple of functions. I, I separated everything because I didn't want to have any problem. Okay, right there. Uh -huh. So right there, it tests it tests the direction, uh -huh. and then depending on what direction, it moves to the next function. Right. And then from there, if it if it's it right there, if you check left, it, it says if the if the array position in the direction it's facing uh -huh. is a zero, it can move there. Sure, sure. And it will actually go to the move function. Right. Or move left function, uh -huh. which is down a little bit. No, no, actually it might have been up. Well, no, 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 maybe, maybe it's down, maybe it's down. Well, I can find it real easy. Oh, God, I hate you. There you go. 
All right, there you go. That's it. That's the that's the whole thing. Okay. So what I want to do is come up here. To move all cards off of the tray. That's that's those force moves. Yeah. So this right here. I just want to take the move out of the equation, the actual move. The actual move will be in the move left function. Yeah. It is down. Right. Yeah, it'll be down. Yeah, take all of these GUI control moves out and just put in like a tooltip that says, okay, move. when it starts to move, or when it starts to do the move and all of the background stuff is done, then uh, uh, tell it take the difference of the time. All right, hold on a second. Da, 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 move days. All right. The loop page count. See, like right here, what I would do is uh, take one equals a to count. Then down here. Because this is after the loop, yes. So we do a tooltip. You'll have to get rid of my other tooltip. No, no, actually, no, you won't. No, you won't. Yeah. Because it'll just override it. So. Yeah, the other one The other one only comes up when you add objects to it, so. Right. Okay, so we do check up, check down, check left, and check right. So check up, we we'll get rid of the force, or uh, move on. Well, no, we need to move up, but we just don't want to control. Move up, move down, move right, and move left. So that should just... There's also, when they collide, there's another move. Okay. Oh, whatever, whatever. Well, let's see what happens here. So we're looking at... 30s to 60s. 60s, yeah, yeah. 60 most, I'd like. I guess I could put a max on there. So, two, uh, yeah, you said there was a collision one as well. Oh. Yeah, it's, uh, if you go to the move, the, uh, the original move pegs function, uh -huh. there'll be, it says new direction. Check oh, out. Sorry, sorry, check, it's in the checks, it's in the checks. It's in check up, check down, check left, check right. Okay, pick the direction up. Okay, so there's some more good control. That, oh, that's there's... actually, no, no, that's it changing, yeah, that's changing the image. Yeah, well, we don't want to have any of that crap going on. Okay, there's more. Good control here. Pick direction. Here. And there should be still some more moves somewhere. Three control. And it'll be four. Oh, okay. That's three. It'll be. Yeah, there you go. Oh, wow, I gotta do multi anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's better. Alright. So we go. That, 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 that. Looks like we've got them all. Okay. okay. All right. So now let's go ahead and make the next time. Start the 
So you take out all of the moving and all of the changing of the images at a thousand pigs, it's taking zero milliseconds. That's uh, really that much. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, the objects are pretty fast. Wow. So, the biggest bottleneck is changing of the images and the moving of the images. That's why I say if you use the um, HTML object up here, I think you could get this thing screaming. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna try that because your code your code right now, it's long how. What would I, where would, okay, where would I interface that? Because I can't, I can't actually read it. You can't read it? Well, I, I mean, like, I, it doesn't mean anything to me. I don't, I don't really under, I don't know the language. Okay, well, relatively simple. Um, okay. So, I don't know how you keep track of your pages, but, uh, Big PNG. Da, 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 da. Uh, let's see. Just trying to get some bearings here. Uh, so your pig eye is the control. Okay. Yes. Yes. So and then, all right. So what I would do is. Uh, Pig colon equals bracket create your thing. So pig uh, a index colon equals image. So that's going to be pig one is going to be your first image. Pig pig dot one, pig dot two, pig dot three, and to a thousand. So that is going to be the that's how you would call to the image here. Okay. So then you could do either this image is here actually technically. Yeah, we'll not do it that way. So you would uh, set your timer and everything else for all the movements here. So uh, set timer move pigs uh, 100 milliseconds. Yeah, like 200 milliseconds. So then, uh, turn blue pigs, or something like these, timer, or label, not a, anyway. So, you would number of pigs, but we know it's a. Like, is, there a is there a way I can just supplement the actual move, uh, GUI control move that I have? Because uh, if I see it there, I'll probably pick this up a lot more, uh, a lot easier than. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's like see how it's okay. See right there where it's changing, where it's changing the image. This is how it's changing the image here. How right. would I do it? How would I do it instead? Oh, it's pretty simple. Um, so pig dot one. So you want to change the first pig's image. Mm -hmm. Dot src colon equals then the name of the, the image. So, um, pig uh, down dot png or whatever. That's and how... I can just put that right where that is? For the most part, yeah, it should be fine. Um, it would take me some time to rewrite the code to get it to work, but... Uh, to get it to work within your framework, but I mean, it wouldn't. I don't know. It probably wouldn't be that difficult. Uh, where's the actual GUI constructed? Oh, sorry, the what? The GUI. Where's your GUI? It's, uh, they're down near the bottom, like uh, 300, 400, 300, 400. There's four GUIs. Add background layer. 
have control panel. Crate arena. Crate uh, arena. This yeah. is where we want to be. So. I don't know. I still want. Add control panel. Add. Oh, this consolidates okay. all. Yeah, those are, those are three more GUIs. Okay. So this create grid. That's the array that keeps track of which, what things are in the. Like, uh, oh, okay. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. All right. So here's where we want to. Uh, here's where we want to throw the active X control. Oh, Jesus Christ. Da -da -da -da. There we go. Okay, so rather than... Hey. Sorry for putting you on the spot, man, but honest, honestly, if, if like, I, I tried going over your, uh, the brain collision one, and the XML, I just can't read it. I don't, I don't understand any of it, and because it's mixed together with the other stuff, it's, I just, it, it's, it's lost. I'm lost on it. That's right. All right. So we've got this 13 by 7 x 0, 0, 0, okay. So... Now would this, would this uh, change anything to do with um, um, the, the move, the uh, window move? Like window the, move? The, very, the last function is the on move? Or on message. Oh yeah, yeah, that'll have to be tinkered with, but we'll deal with that later. Okay. I just wanna. Uh, yeah, we get all this up here. Da, 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 da. Uh, oop, that, that. Then we'll just go ahead and get that, move that up and so. I'm not getting the. There's still, there's still. Uh, did you get all the layers? There's four GUIs. Right, but I, I mean, nothing should have really changed as far as. So all I did was add it in, or took out the oh because the the do show. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so yeah. this here. Should be this here should be a ActiveX control. Yeah, called uh, A A T L A X Win One. Now the actual the actual surface that's getting drawn on is only one is is one of the layers. Like the there's the, the border border doesn't really have to be on. Uh, that image, I can just use normal controls. It's the the moving one is the lot layer, or it's uh, the GUI number four. So it's the last GUI. It's the only one that actually moves. Right. Okay. So add pig is where a pig gets new pig settings. Yeah. Insert pig in the count ray. I'm looking for where you're adding in, so it's going to be. It'll be place new and uh, new map. Place new for add new picture. Map. Here we go. Okay. So what needs to be done here would be wb dot image create element. Okay, so your uh, ad grid. Uh, where does the actual pig get stored? In in that in that um, it must be the one before. Right there. Insert pig into array count. It's it, no, no, it's a set new pig direction location. Set new pig direction location. 
It's if arena grid, if arena grid, pig y y, pig x x equals zero. Mm -hmm. Create the object and then populate the object. Okay. So, so it's going to be pig pig slot or o pig pig slot. So, o pig. Uh, is pig slot just a counter? Yes. Yes. Big slot dot ing equals ing position absolute pig Okay, so the sources are going to be, well, you don't, technically in here, you don't even have it, uh, oh, okay, so pig here, all right, so, so right. Well, if you notice the X, the X, if you go to just under global right there on line 487, yeah. create, <clears throat> I do my math, I do my math, so it's, it's the, it's whatever, whatever current uh, uh, position it is in a grid, minus 1 times 10. So that gives me its exact X and Y position. Right. So, image. Uh, style. Pig. 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 Style. Left. Up here. Style A. Equals B. Okay. So that puts it at its starting so, point. Make sure that how, how are you using how are you using different um, different um, which you call it uh, keys how, how are you able to use different keys keys how do you mean well because I have key key one key two key three key four uh-huh right but you're using it dot image yeah dot image right that's basically just telling it to store the image the actual image object into that pig slot dot image because you've got x or dot one is pig. yeah but i i right above it i create that object okay okay I, you you know better i i just don't i don't know what i'm trying to figure out what's going on okay well let's see if it works or we we start describing so so pig Slot dot image dot uh, or dot uh, make sure that everything's getting yeah everything's getting sure okay good so we need to oh I need to do, define all of your pigs so uh, oh you know what I did I just need so one, two, three, four. Where was I? There we go. Okay. Um, is this actually giving me? image file. I can say, yes, it's there. So why are you not sure? be image create? Oh, I'm a stupid fucking idiot. Uh, sorry. 
www.body.attendchild image. There we go, that should make things a little different. Oh, maybe not. Where are you, things? I think have you on the right layer? Like, do you have the right, do you have the right layer showing? Probably not. Uh, let's see. Create arena. Okay. So let's go ahead and say so WB dot body. The bot layer, the bot layer is the layer that I have it set up to show on. But I, I mean, it doesn't really matter if it's, if it's, if it shouldn't work. Okay, yeah, it's definitely visible. Okay. Place me straight on now. So left is XP, Y, or top style, styles, image shot style. Alright, let's just go ahead and create the pig within. Where are you, you say, pig? I think they went to the market. Apparently so. So image. Let me create image. Image shot position absolute. Pig image. It's neither here nor there. Source. Image source. Yes. WB dot body dot child. So MWB dot body dot outer. Ah, well, that makes sense. So, image ING is good. Yeah. Create 